solutions from an array of checking and deposit accounts, cash management services, to small business, real estate, and ag lending. We're here for you, your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Find out more at MidwestBank.com. Member FDIC. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can. With 12 bowling lanes and the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dudley. Spring is here. It's time to get back outside and into proper shoes this year. Brown Shoe Fit is the place to buy this spring with their sale on athletic shoes. Get $15 off any regular price athletic shoes with respected brands like Hoka, Brooks, New Balance, and On Running. And don't forget, Browns carries a large arrangement of sizes and widths to fit your feet properly. Start your spring off right at Brown Shoe Fit, just south of 66 and Q in Lincoln. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of your liberty in pursuit of your justice for those that have been injured. My name is Matt Knight, attorney with Liberty Law Group. If you've been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, call 877-42-LIBERTY. Our relentless trial attorneys are committed to the highest quality legal representation. At Liberty Law Group, we will fight for you. Call 877-42-LIBERTY. Once again, that's 877-42-LIBERTY. How do people feel about getting Big Fitness Energy at Planet Fitness for $1 down and $10 a month? They feel as thrilled as a kid the first summer they're tall enough to ride the roller coaster! That's right. When you join Planet Fitness right now, you'll get access to tons of equipment and free fitness training in a clean and spacious club. Don't wait. Join the judgment-free zone today for that all-day energy. Download the free Planet Fitness app and join today for $1 down, $10 a month. Deal in soon. See Home Club for details. The Stars are home this weekend for a pair of pivotal Western Conference games. It all begins on Friday night as the Sioux Falls Stampede come to town for a 7.05 p.m. puck drop. Don't miss Down Syndrome Night the next day on Saturday with the action getting started at 6.05. Haven't been out to a Stars game yet this season? Don't miss out because only three weeks are left in the regular season. Tickets are available at LincolnStars.com. If you want to make new floor shopping easier, come to Street Carpet. Hi, I'm Steve Carper. Our flooring professionals can help you choose the best flooring for you, your family, and your budget. We eliminate the confusion. Even better, you'll be enjoying your new flooring much sooner. No six or eight week waits. We'll install right away and save you money on installation. Floor shopping made easy every day at O Street Carpet. O Street Carpet. 1732 O Street. Family owned and operated. Always the best value. Hi, it's Charlie Stone back with the latest update from Andy Goodyear of Honda of Lincoln. Andy, your new car selection keeps getting better and better every month. Can you tell our listeners all about it? You know, it sure is, Charlie. It's great that our customers can come in, pick out a new Honda, and drive away with it that day. How many new Hondas do you have in stock? Well, right now we have just about 100 in stock. Hey, I hear you've won some very important awards in your service department. Tell us about them. Well, the first one is we won the award for the first fixed award. So the cars are actually fixed on the very first time they're brought in. Second award is our Customer Service Experience Award. And then our third award is our Honda Express Service Elite, and we rank the best in quality and customer satisfaction. Maybe it's time you come experience the Honda of Lincoln way of doing business. 27th and Yankee Hill Road or online at hondaoflincoln.com. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. You don't think about your roof very often, but you should never take it for granted. Roofing Service Company takes every measure to provide you with the highest quality roofing solution. Whether it's a new roof installation, roof repair, or a re-roofing project, their overall goal is to provide you with a pleasant experience and a long-lasting roof. If you have a need for siding or gutters, they're your place to. Visit roofingservicecompany.com for more info today. 
When you teach your children how to set and reach goals, you'll do more than just help them succeed in school. I'm Jenny Benson, president of the Nebraska State Education Association. Motivation and goal setting build confidence, and it's still a drive that will benefit children their entire lives. It will also help them become more positive thinkers. Working together, parents and teachers are a powerful team for student success. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association in this station. You can get diesel anywhere, but what about atomic diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic Diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with Atomic Diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how Atomic Diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities, opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0, and, and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush and guru of Husker football history. Chris Raff. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green into Vikings territory. Bodily brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green all by himself. 20, 10, touchdown. Brought to you by Sand Hills Global on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Good morning, everybody. It is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. We are back. It is Wednesday. What is up, Mr. Sainert? Hello, Rafi. How's it going? Good. How are you? Where's Amon Green? AG takes Wednesdays off, remember? Wednesdays oh, are his days. Oh, I forgot. It's Wednesdays are day. his days off. Yep, that's right. So Gamers it's just, lounge. just me and you today. Oh, the best the best tandem in sports right there. Something like that, I suppose. Uh, how's, how's Huntsville treating you? Not too bad. Not too bad. And then what's, what's the plan? When, do we know when our return date is to Lincoln? Um, Sunday, Sunday, okay. I, I return Sounds back good. on Sunday. So I'll be back in studio on, on Monday. So you okay. see my, my beautiful face and hopefully is the weather still chilly there? It is cold. It's like a high of 42 today. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's supposed to be 72 on Friday, a high of 72 on Friday. I, other than that, it's, it's just not fun. It's, it's dreary. The sun's not coming out. Um, it's just not an enjoyable couple of days outside. The most important part is what's the ground like? Is there snow on the ground? Is it there's, just there's no snow on the ground, but uh, there was frost on my windshield this morning when I got into my yeah. vehicle. There was frost on the windshield. Um, no snow on the ground though. We're good. We're good. We're hanging in there. I mean, I, I can even flip to the the outside view. It's it just right. that's just all it is. It's just nothing too exciting going on right now. Okay, well, that's fine though. If it gets to seventy-two, that means golf, so you're good to go. Yeah, yeah, we'll find we'll find a time. Hopefully, I don't I don't know when when the next time that that I'll, hit, I'll be able to hit the links is. Uh, we got supernovas Thursday, Saturday, right? right? Obviously, it's Easter Sunday coming up this Sunday as well. Um, we're going to be live at the Chocolate Season from eight to two. That's going to be in Williamsburg Village uh, on Friday from eight to two. There's it's going to be a cool opportunity. We're going to get to see how the chocolate's made. 
going to see their whole process. If you have not been out to the chocolate season, highly recommend coming on out because it is a very, very cool spot. Very yeah. cool spot. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see Raph in the in the flesh, but we'll be there. Yeah. And it's so. Nick Sainert, so I mean. That, they don't, that, I, do, do not come because of me. Come because of the chocolate. <laughs> that's That's all I would say. <laughs> And no, no waffles today, right? Nope. Heavenly waffles not in the building today. So uh, no heavenly waffles today. I'm sure they're off saving the planet, doing whatever they need to do because uh, they're, they're working with some big organization, professional team, university, whatever, whatever uh, Bob and, and Kathy are doing there. I'm sure it's it's some it's some pretty incredible stuff because what they've been able to do already is uh, some of the people they work with consistently and and what they'll do if they fly out or drive somewhere it's pretty awesome to see so i tr I try to match my travel schedule around there the waffle schedule <laughs> yeah uh lance asks nick did you need the scraper that you took out of your car um so that is true a couple weeks ago i said on air that i took the the ice scraper out of my vehicle thankfully lance i did not i just used the defroster just a nice little rear defroster saves saves lives so um, the, the rear defroster just made that window go perfectly fine. So we're fine. We're good. We still don't need the scraper. You don't need the scraper folks. I'm going to continue this bit the entire way. Uh, we don't need the scrapers, put them away. Will the, the warm weather into existence. That's all I'm saying. Uh, oh boy. Yeah. No scraper needed down here. It was, it was a little brisk out here this morning though. It was like yeah. 45, I think this morning. But I think it gets up to mid sixties today, so it should be all right. Jeez. There you go. Have you golfed at all down there, or did you even take your clubs? No, no clubs, no clubs. Okay. Just, okay. What just, was uh, what was it like in Austin while you were there? Because people might not know the the the, the traveling world of Raf is he he started in Austin and then made the made the flight made, flight flew over to Huntsville. So yep. so you, what was what was Austin like? Because I know they got stuff going on now. Strick had to take you know obviously the guy's flight got got delayed because of severe weather down in Dallas, yeah, Dallas uh, yeah. last week. What, what's, what was Austin like temperature weather wise when you were down there? Austin started out, it was a little rainy, a little gloomy. And then as the week went on, it got, it got nicer. It was in the seventies. It was nice, but yeah. I was talking to my buddy, Nick uh, yesterday and he said, it's been raining cats and dogs, cats Jeez. and dogs there. So a lot of rain going in Texas. And then it's been nice here. I think it's supposed to get nicer as the weekend goes on. So maybe some seventies out there. Maybe there you go. Sounds, sounds like a perfect uh, couple of, couple of days for uh, another getaway for Rafi before he comes back to Lincoln and where once again, it's a high of 42 today. I'm pretty sure uh, is what I, what I heard on, uh, on one of my apps. Okay. So Raph, we got a lot to talk about today, whether it's um, a, a couple of transfer portal entries for Nebraska basketball one yesterday, I, I spoke to to one of the assistants actually yesterday at the at Troy Dannon's press conference. Said a couple of things interesting um, that I, I think it's okay to share as well about right. Nebraska men's basketball and their whole entire season, kind of um, as well as transfer portal. Right. Um, I also think that uh, Nebraska is not done with with off season depart departures. Right. Even though you're you're three down right now. Um, Nebraska basketball has four open scholarships that we'll be able to talk about throughout the, the course of the off season. Definitely want to get your thoughts on the Troy Dan and press conference because, uh, I was somewhat pleased. I think with, it wasn't this flamboyant type of presentation. I think with, with Troy Dan and not that it was with Trev Alberts. I think just though that the, the fashion that Nebraska had to hire an athletic director, brisk, quick. Um, and you kind of just wanted a no nonsense guy. You just kind of wanted just to get in. All right, let's get the, the introductory press conference. Let's get all the, the pageantry put to the side and let's get to work. I feel like that kind of, they kind of did their job of sufficing that yesterday with the, with the press conference. So I definitely want to talk about that a little bit. Um, uh, but there's, there's a lot to talk about. We get our first look at Husker football tomorrow morning. Yes. And so, uh, we, we got a lot of stuff to get to throughout the next hour and a half of the show is, um, are you going down for Coach Rule? Will he have a press conference then tomorrow after the practice? Or yeah, so so it's it's pra we're we're able to see practice from it'll probably be like nine to nine thirty, I would imagine, um, nine to nine forty maybe, uh, and then we'll we'll be able to roam around throughout that throughout the Hawks. But then 
Um, at 11 o'clock, we'll hear from coaches, coaches, and, and I believe players, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll have a little bit of uh, of sound bites and news and notes from practice tomorrow. But obviously, in, in for the media, it's it's our first look at a guy like Dylan Riola, right? Who is uh pretty pretty highly touted, and then the expectation is pretty high for uh for 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 Riola, and so it's going to be our first look. So I'm sure quarterbacks will be a very very popular spot yeah. tomorrow at the Hawks. It's fun. It's fun to watch him throw. I mean, his arm talent is it's superb for his age. I mean, I've been mm-hmm. saying it for the last four years now, but it's just it's it's fun to watch him throw the ball. So it'll be uh, it'll be cool tomorrow to actually see some more footage other than everybody watching the um, pro day. And they showed like one throw from the shoulder down and then one mm-hmm. little sidearm throw. But other than that, you know, people haven't really got a chance to really see him throw. So it'll be cool to see some more footage of that. Yeah, and, and, and we always have, I don't want to say like spring stories um, that, that are guys that maybe, you know, make some waves in the spring and then kind of not flame out, but just don't maybe live up to expectations or we get blindsided or our, our vision gets blurry. Maybe that's a better way to say it uh, of whether or not a guy can really contribute in the fall and, and stuff. So I would say like when you look at Nebraska, like A.J. Rollins is a really good example, right? And this is this is not a knock on AJ Rollins, but he's been a guy that's kind of stood out in the spring, whether that's in spring practice or the spring game. And maybe that was due to some injuries in the tight end room. But then once fall comes around, it kind of he like the depth chart settles out. Guys get healthier. Guys get more available. Um, they can play through a couple of stuff, just the the nagging injuries. And and some guys like that don't find the field right. So there's there's obviously. I say that in a in a in a in a fashion where that's not a a a slight to AJ Rollins. It's it's enjoyable to find these guys that stand out in the spring, make some strides, and provide depth, provide necessary and productive depth for Nebraska. Yeah, no, it's another thing too. It's fun to see the body transformations. Exactly, you're absolutely right. They've had more time in the weight room, so it'll be. You're going to see some guys tomorrow where you're going to just going to be like, oh, somebody's been, you yeah. know, in the weight room working out and getting their, getting their work in. And I, I think there'll be more of that tomorrow than there will be in a long time for Nebraska. Just it kind of lo- looks like Nebraska's starting to look the part again of, yeah. of a big time, you know, of a college football team. Because I, I know there's been years where we've looked at Ohio State and we're just like, oh man, you know. So it's going to be fun just to see how that continues to progress, you know, not only in the spring, but as the yeah. summer workouts and all that. So it'll be, it's going to be, it's an exciting time for Nebraska football. And it, is. it should be, it'll be fun tomorrow to, you know, just to see and just have, you know, a chance for you to be down there and check it out. So we expect, you know, great reporting out of you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try my best. DP will be down there with me. So we'll, we'll definitely put something together, send some things out and, and we'll be good to go from there. But um, once again, so we, we got plenty of stuff to talk about. One story that maybe since next segment's going to be a very short segment, we can dive into this. Did you see by chance, Raph, who one of the leading candidates are for the Louisville head coaching job? I did not. Richard Patino. You know, not, not Rick Patino. Rick Patino sued the school last yeah. year, a couple of years ago. Yep. His son, Richard Patino is being seriously considered for the Louisville head coaching job where his dad got in trouble for off the, all the off court stuff. There were legal stuff going on. Rick, Rick Patino, I'm pretty sure at one point sued Louisville and, yeah. and they've, they've vacated wins and <laughs> it's looked at as like a dark couple of years. And now they want to hire his son. It That's just does awesome. not, it just does not seem right. So I kind of want to talk about that. Maybe we can look up a couple of things throughout the break. But just because next yes. segment, just because next segment's going to be a, a, like a seven minute conversation, yep. so I, I just want to have this. Bring them back. If you're Louisville, if you're Louisville, you struck out on Dusty May. You struck out on a couple of other candidates that that have chosen to coach elsewhere. What what in why in your <laughs> right mind do you think hiring Richard Patino? Yes would be a good fit. Let's talk about that when we come back, Rafi. I love it. All right, we'll throw it to break. Just the drive, 93.7, the ticket. You 
couldn't get diesel anywhere. But what about atomic diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with atomic diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how Atomic Diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. Tanner's Bar and Grill is the perfect place to watch the NCAA tournament from the round of 64 all the way to the championship. Bring your friends and family in to enjoy Tanner's delicious hamburgers, chicken lips, and daily specials, and wash it down with one of their tons of options of beers. You'll never have an issue finding the game, as there are TVs everywhere throughout the space. So get in early, grab your spot, and settle in for a day of NCAA tournament basketball at Tanner's Bar and Grill, 30th and Yankee Hill. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. This is Brad with Midwest Bank, proudly serving our Nebraska communities for over 70 years. We're a community bank, making local decisions, supporting local organizations, and helping local businesses and farms succeed. We are dedicated to serving our clients and helping them meet their financial needs with sound, innovative banking solutions. From an array of checking and deposit accounts, cash management services, to small business, real estate, and ag lending. We're here for you. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Find out more at MidwestBank.com. Member FDIC. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of your liberty in pursuit of your justice for those that have been injured. My name is Matt Knight, attorney with Liberty Law Group. If you've been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, call 877-42-LIBERTY. Our relentless trial attorneys are committed to the highest quality legal representation. At Liberty Law Group, we will fight for you. Call 877-42-LIBERTY. Once again, that's 877-42-LIBERTY. How do people feel about getting big fitness energy at Planet Fitness for $1 down and $10 a month? They feel as thrilled as a kid the first summer they're tall enough to ride the roller coaster! That's right. When you join Planet Fitness right now, you'll get access to tons of equipment and free fitness training in a clean and spacious club. Don't wait. Join the judgment-free zone today for that all-day energy. Download the free Planet Fitness app and join today for $1 down, $10 a month. Deal in soon. See home club for details. 93.7 The Ticket. Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. The length of forecast for today, there's a chance we could see a few flurries. Otherwise, we'll see probably sunny skies and a high around 46. Tonight, mainly clear skies with a low around 28. And tomorrow, we'll see more sunshine to go along with warmer temperatures. And the afternoon high expected around 64. I'm meteorologist Kyle Butker for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Spring is here. It's time to get back outside and into proper shoes this year. Brown Shoe Fit is the place to buy this spring with their sale on athletic shoes. Get $15 off any regular price athletic shoes with respected brands like Hoka, Brooks, New Balance, and On Running. And don't forget, Browns carries a large arrangement of sizes and widths to fit your feet properly. Start your spring off right at Brown Shoe Fit, just south of 66 and Q in Lincoln. Ooh, what a day. I could sure use an afternoon pick-me-up. Hold up. The new 93.7 The Ticket location has a milk, coffee, and tea inside? Oh, yeah. This is a game changer. Need an afternoon pick-me-up? How about a coffee or smoothie on your way to work? Stop by the Ticket Mill location on 1040 O Street to get your go-to drink or try out our new game day drinks exclusive to the Ticket Mill location. We know it'll make your day a mill yen times better. Step into healing at Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery. 
our team of top-notch medical professionals turns pain into progress with state-of-the-art treatments and compassionate care. Visit prairieortho.com and discover the difference in quality orthopedic and plastic surgery services tailored to your unique needs. Your health matters and Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery is dedicated to helping you thrive. Reach your full potential. Embrace a better tomorrow with Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. This first hour is proudly sponsored by Sand Hills Global. Sand Hills Global is looking to fill hundreds of openings in sales, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Career and internship opportunities are available at the global headquarters in Lincoln. Apply today at sandhills.jobs. Got it. Boom. Uh, we just got a set, uh, we just got set a screenshot of uh, the weather. For Fullerton, Nebraska, which I, I, I I'm gonna be honest, I think it's is that up by O'Neill? Is that close it's to kind, O'Neill? It's kind of by Columbus. Okay, okay, so about an hour and a half away. All time um, great, all time great Nebraska defensive end Tom Gadowski was from Fullerton, Nebraska. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, nice. number ninety three. I, I'll be honest, I, I got to get a little sharper on my on my smaller towns in Nebraska, Raf. Yeah, I got to get, I gotta get sharper. Them. I know there's there's a lot of them, um, but I, I'll be honest. Like I think the only ones that I truly, once I get past Columbus, I'm I'm just a lost cause. I'm you a know lost. What we, cause. You know what we need to do? Since we are called the Drive, we do the Drive Nebraska <laughs> Caravan. What well, we could just do like the, the 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 Nebraska, or the excuse me, we could just do like a, a portable show from the road. Every yeah. single morning, it's me, Raph, AG, and, and and AD come to your city. It's like college game day. Yes. Every single day, we're just yes. we just do a tour through north. What would that be? Northeast Nebraska, northwest Nebraska, and we just keep on going. Every single day, we stop, and, and every morning, the, the the place we do our show is just the local bar. We just come out, we grab a table, and we finish. We finish. We find one one city where we just yes. stop. Yes. And that's saying, all right, we turn around. Let's do it again. If you want the drive in your city, tweet to 93.7 the ticket. Right. We want the drive in our city. Here's <laughs> the thing. It, it might be fun to, you know, go two hours, but then it's like, all right, then by like day four and we're like six hours away from home, we're going to be like, all right, maybe this maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe we should turn just around. Just imagine how fun it would be just to see the, um, just to like hear from everyone and be like, hey, you need to try this, this, bakery or you need to try this food place or you need to try i think it'd be fun i mean i'm up for it let's do it to drive on the road well, yeah you know it's easier for you to just you know get up and, and go um uh, I, there's some other things that are in play here for for others uh ad has you know a pretty successful speaking business um Details. ag ag is a professor at at the university and the director of esports as we know um, this is my full time job, so I kind of am required to be here for a decent part of the day. I can't just... But if the drive is on the road, that th this is part of your job. Hey, okay. Now I like this idea. I like this idea a lot. Riley okay. W on the text line says, "Bring the drive to Dorchester. You guys have to eat at City Slickers Bar in town." So Jason is the owner of City Slickers. I, I I've known the Dirk Hops for for years. My family is good family friends with them as well. My grandparents, Riley, fun fact, live in Dorchester. So there I make I, I make the, uh, the 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 trip to Dorchester quite often. And so um the, I am I am very familiar, Riley, with with that bar. I am very familiar with yeah. that with that sports park. Delicious, delicious spot. Highly recommend trying it out if you're uh, so we could go to like the we could go to like the the smaller towns and the towns we have we're not familiar with, like Fullerton. We could go to Fullerton. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever been to Fullerton, 
and we could, but then we could also go to like towns like Kearney, for instance, right? I have some knowledge of Kearney. You have some knowledge of I, Kearney. I have some familiarity with Kearney. So I do. We check out Kearney. Maybe, maybe we drop by North Platte. I have some familiarity with North Platte. You know, we, you know, we, we just, we cover the big towns, but we also hit the tiny ones. Like we've got to go to Worms, Nebraska. I mean, that's, that's got to be on the list. Never, never even heard of it. I didn't even know. Yeah, uh, you got to go to Worms. We got a text from Dave Dipple that says, how about y'all start with each other's hometowns? Or near there. Well, there I'm from go. Lincoln. I'm from Lincoln, so that's <laughs> where where's where's AD from? Uh, Lincoln. Well, we got three people right here from Lincoln. All right. <laughs> so we just gotta find a local bar that wants us here. Hey, welcome to Lincoln. This is where we this is, this yes. is <laughs> we, we really need to spread our wings a little bit here. Maybe we go, maybe we just go up to Omaha where it's AG's Ooh. AG's hometown. Ooh, Twisted uh, Turtle in Rushville, Nebraska. Have you been to Rushville before? Have not. I've not been. Um, we we you got tell me down. which 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 quarterback was drafted in the first round from Rushville, Nebraska? Not, not a chance. Oh, Kelly Stouffer. Oh, okay. I know exactly the, the the broadcaster now. Yep, he was he was played for the he was drafted by the Seattle Seahawks back in the early nineties. Yep. That guy's out of control. Also on the air, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> all right. So let's see. <laughs> let's see what else we got here. We've gone down the rabbit hole of great small town spots right yeah um, and and we don't necessarily need to do it again because somebody says worms has a bar called night crawlers the night crawler awesome, yes which is, which is pretty awesome uh i will say um we've, we've talked about i mean we've talked about like two toughies and Tui. that's yep. a good spot to go to i haven't been there since i was probably seven years old so that'd be like a return there's uh there's harry's in valparaiso that's a that's okay. a pretty cool spot um the, the drive on the road Yep, it's there you go. Happen. This, this suppose, needs to happen. I suppose so. Uh, we got um, let's see where where's the text? IQ crew says go for it all in two hours on the air and then bring your clubs and tour the states. That would be fun. We could figure out a way. We gotta we'd have to find somebody to like film the golf. Yeah, I I think you'd be surprised on how many people will just watch golf and just watch like a couple of guys just playing golf. I think you'd be if, I, if I start dancing on the golf course, yeah, I mean that right there. That's that's, that's Emmy winning all the time. I think so too. Matt says add Pender to the list, home of Coach Bush. My significant we'll bring other, Bill, bring Bill with us. He can be our tour guide. Yeah, my significant other is from there, and her family is still there. Guarantee that we can get the entire town out. I'll cook breakfast for everyone. That's that's from Matt, the official chef of the drive. We'll figure something Damn. out. This Maybe could happen. Drive road trip. The drive is on the road. Yep. There you We're go. coming to your That's what I'm city. Saying. We'll pull up. We, we just need to rent a bus. We'll just get a big bus. And and somebody said Nick comparing this scroll this uh this show to college game day is like comparing myself to Chris Hemsworth. Must be a good looking dude, Eric. Congratulations. Nice job. <laughs> um somebody says the dingling in Raymond. Absolutely. Yep. I heard they're giving it a facelift. So uh okay. here's here's a trivia question for you, Raf. Uh oh. Speaking of Dorchester, Nebraska, Ooh. can you can you think? Uh, do you know the door the the mascot of Dorchester High School? Dorchester. Hmm. I'm not sure what to start with. They are the Dorchester Longhorns. The Longhorns. All right. The Longhorns. Yep, that's right. And so the uh, the Dorchester Longhorns is the mascot for. For Dorchester High School, um, not very good at sports, I don't think. So I bet they, I bet they catch a lot of horns downs from oh, yeah. teams fans. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. So plus you have Crete just a couple minutes away, so just yeah. gotta keep driving down the highway. You know, I don't. I think I've only been to Dorchester once in my life. Actually, there's, there's not a whole lot there. I'll be honest. I mean, you just kind of just drive through the. You got a car lot on the right side as you drive into town. You got City Slickers as we talked about on the left side. You got one gas station. That usually has decent decent priced gas, yeah. But you go you go down the road, you know, you, you drive east for about seven miles, and you got like three Casey's in Crete. So I want to go to Arnold, Nebraska, too. We got to check out Arnold. Ah, Arnold. Yep, we got to go. That's where, where where my dad deer hunts at. I can show you guys the the hot spots in Arnold. Perfect. There you go. And man. then we then we just head on over to North Platte. We go to check out North 40 Chop House. We're good. Oh, we got we got places. I, I stayed in a hotel in North Platte, and 
there were three queen size beds in the room. Yeah. They fit three queen size beds in the room. I had never seen that before. It was, it was my buddies and I were making a trip out West for, for a golf trip a couple of years ago. We were like, we just want to stop in North Platte. So we ended up stopping at, we, we, we stayed in North Platte, stayed at a hotel and we found a room with three queen size beds in there. I was like, man, this is incredible. i would never, never seen a room have more than two beds. Have you ever been to Ewing, Nebraska? No. Jay Shaw says DW pup. Huge hmm. Nebraska fans. Yeah. I think we got to go to Ewing. And plus, I always love the TV show Dallas. So maybe they have like a J.R. Ewing statue or something there. Wow. I'll get my picture taken with it. Wow. Um, oh, how about this? IQ crew says bring a merch tent for the Rafts Roadies and big swim t-shirts. Yes. Yes. You know, times, I, by the way, I didn't I didn't have this conversation on air yet, but the amount of times, and I need to I need to have a sit down with early break about this. The uh the amount of times that I got I heard and got called big swim instead of Nick last week at Buffalo Wings and Rings on Thursday and Friday was absurd, right? Yes. I've told the story about I was walking through Pinnacle Bank Arena for a Husker game, and I heard, oh, that's big swim right there. And I turn around. And it's bad that people call me that on the daily now. It's even worse that I respond to it. So what do you think? Well, how about this? A big swim t-shirt and it'll be like a caricature of your face with like holding a microphone. Nobody's going to want to wear a shirt with my face on it. And I don't, I don't blame them one bit. I wouldn't want to wear, I wear, no, wear a shirt I think, with I my think, face on it. I think people would wear, if it was that, like one of those drawing hey. caricatures of your, <laughs> yes. That's, that's one of those that, you know, you say, well, I mean, we can get it. We could use it for, we need another rag. That's, that's what you would use that shirt for. You'd say, all right, we need another rag. We, we get Rico here. What's up, Rico? <sighs> Nick, Nick, Nick. You think you're so popular. That's not what I'm getting at at all. But it's okay. It's okay. The people do enjoy Big Swim. And you know what? No, people, they, they, people, don't care, they don't care about Nick. People, they only no. care about Big Swim. Nick doesn't exist anymore. It's just no, Big Swim. No, they you don't are, care. It's like it's like Batman and Bruce Wayne. Nobody cares about Bruce Wayne anymore. It's just Batman. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. No, I I would wear a big swim T-shirt. But the thing is, we're not getting grown Nick's face on the T-shirt. I'm Ooh. finding a baby picture. Oh, baby. No, no, I'm no, finding I mean, a baby some picture. Things, some of those things got to stay in the vault. No, not not like a just just a, just a cute little chubby face Nick baby picture. And we'll see. We'll see what uh, Mama Sainert has in the vault. She has nothing. Oh yeah, she we'll deleted them all. We'll see what Mama Sainert has in the vault. And, little uh, swim. Little we'll try swim. And, yeah, we'll try and get one with like just like a little cap on. I know there's got to be one with like Nick wearing like a swim hat or something. No, 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 no. I never wore a swim cap. Never wore that. I took swimming lessons very short time because then I was just a natural swimmer. Yeah. There's gonna be. That's why you're big water. swim. I live in that's the water. That's why you're big swim. I can live in the well, water. Well, I do. I do know the Raps Roadies T-shirts are going into production. That's right. They're, that's right. they're, they're nice. I, can't, I cannot wait for those to sell a grand total of five. Yep. No, I, I guarantee Raph's you. Raps dead. Raps uncle, and Raps himself. Hey, Raph. I, I've got a sister, <laughs> nephews, uh, six, so six, seven, seven, eight. I don't know how many nephews. In Huntsville, I'm sure. Yeah, you have, yeah, you have a significant other that yeah. will purchase one. Okay, fine, twelve. Yep, there you go. Well, well, it'll be about it'll be about production cost even, right? We'll make we'll make the money back just even. Yeah, it'll we'll feel free. It'll feel free to text in or tweet to me saying that you want a Rafts Roadies T-shirt. I got a feeling my 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 Twitter <laughs> hotline is going to blow up. I want I Chris Raff Seven. If there was if tweet there's a Rafts, if there's a Rafts Roadies T-shirt, a Big Swim T-shirt. And I don't have like a cool nickname or anything, but if Rico had a T-shirt, who sells the most? Who sells the most? Ralph Brody. Four zero two four six four five six eight five. Which one are you buying? I would say Ralph Brody's seen, probably. Have you seen all the Ralph Brody's that have walked past that window? I mean, Nick's like Ralph. Those are just people. That's just oh, people. Oh no, yeah, those, sure are, they, those, wanna... those are Ralph Brody's. They're enjoying life. I don't. I don't know. Um. Yeah. Ralph, that's just I people suppose. trying to get to class or trying to get to work or or, or trying to go to the bus stop. Yeah. Or... <laughs> I think that's all they're doing right yeah. now. They're just living their um, lives. Yeah. And living yeah. their best lives. They're happy. Because of, because of you, obviously. Yeah. They look in the window and they're like, ah, oh, yeah, there's uh, Raph. Raph, my day is brightened. Yeah. There it oh, is. What's, what's that weird dude that just keeps on pointing at us every yeah. time we every walk time by? Every time somebody walks by, that's <laughs> Raph's roadie. I bet people are like, stop, please. I don't know. Yeah. yeah what is going on? 
feel like I feel like he's threatening me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they learn to love me. You just can't force yourself upon people. I mean, like, bro, we have to talk you about will, this. You will learn to yeah, love you me. will learn that I'm gonna be your favorite person. You can't you can't do this, Raf. Oh, gotta, look, gotta, look at look how it look how it's worked with Coach Rule. I mean, it's got to be. Like he still, has he has still hasn't retweeted me yet, but I'm persistent. I mean, I, I figure <laughs> by probably 2026, he'll probably like retweet me or follow me on Twitter. So I was going to say, has he replied or retweeted or liked any of your tweets yet? There has been zero from him. Zero. I had a, I had a passing by conversation with Matt Rule yesterday. I, I could have said something, Raph. Why I'm did sure. you say something? Well, because Raph's Twitter is not on the front of my mind. I'm going to be you know, honest but, with you. But you know what did happen, Raph? What's that? Nick Sainer got a new follow. From Coach Rule? Coach Matt. No, I'm kidding. He's no, I did not. I was like, I was like, <laughs> oh, I was like, I was like, I was, was, like, oh, was, so was going to be so bad. <laughs> oh, I was going to be, I was just going to be like, what in the world? <laughs> never forget. Never forget when we started the radio uh, show with, with Raph and AD. Raph was relentless on asking for followers every day I remember every he day couldn't, he couldn't, couldn't follow, follow Chris, anymore follow Chris Raff, so, yeah he because he followed too many people <laughs> he followed five thousand people his ratio was so bad he goes i just need i need to unfollow people i follow everyone all of our listeners if they follow me i follow them back it's what i do there you it's, go it's, i i at did least, that at least one of them i did the i did the follow for follow and then i realized i don't need all this no. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't necessarily have a follow for follow type of thing. No, you follow don't follow me. anyone. If you, you follow me, you didn't I follow me your... for a year. No, if you that follow me, unintentional. I go to your profile. And if in the first five tweets, I don't laugh at something, I don't follow you back. What, 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 what am I, I give you, you five tweets? At? I give you five tweets. We're coworkers. Okay. I had to follow you. I had to follow me. And, you, and, then, and then also another thing I notice is I like your guys' tweets, but I get zip, zero, nada from you guys. But I know you read my tweets. I know Nick does because Nick will be like, ah, that was a crazy tweet. You tweeted Coach Rule again. I'm like, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> Raph, I feel like I don't have to read your tweets, and I could say that every day. <laughs> and it would probably <laughs> and it would be true. right. <laughs> it would be correct. Um, I, I, I just – I don't think – I'm just not very active in, like, the liking on Twitter. I like I just kind of scroll. I like more than I retweet. I just kind of scroll. I'll just like. Ooh, yeah, I want some. I, I want some. I want some retweets from you guys. That the, mm. seeing my name on your Twitter Raph, pages. Raph, do you know how good your tweet has to be for me to re retweet you? I have a very yeah, I, high retweet hey, quality. Hey, Rico, Rico retweeted my tweet yesterday. That I did. Oh, you know why? Have my name it's... in it. <laughs> <laughs> so if I no, put no, your no, name... it was a Troy Dannon thread. Oh, well, that's work. It's work. So if I put your name in my tweet, it gets retweeted. Depending on what you say. Oh, it'll be something amazing. Well, but, but I guess we'll just have to play this game. This is a good time to, to plug them. You can follow all of us on Twitter. Nick underscore Sainert. That's spelled S-E-H-N-E-R-T. Uh, Radio Rico AC and Chris Raff. Seven still, seven. right? Yep. Seven. Chris you Raff, better Chris, believe it. Chris Raff seven. Chris Raff Elway Jr. Uh, <laughs> Coach Rule, if you're listening. Elway lover free. seven. <laughs> Ooh, Troy Dannon, new athletic director. Troy Dannon, if you're listening. That's true. Chris Ralph you think he's listening? He has to be listening. He's got his finger on the pulse of this state. And if you have your finger on the pulse of this state, you got to be listening to the drive. I think he listens closer at the like a one o'clock hour. No, he's probably been up since like 4 a.m. grinding. Dude doesn't sleep. What was that? 2 uh, 2 2 15 a.m.? It was 3 51. Yeah, 3 51 a.m. They signed the contract. Yeah, that's yeah. his time. It, it was funny. I will say it was funny yesterday. How he was just like, you know, I knew I found the right guy when, you know, President Kabora could figure out the docu sign on the computer. And I was like, wait, hold up. I was like, I don't, I don't know if that's a compliment or if that's a, if, you know, I don't know how just, we should take that. I just want to be like, I can also figure out the docu sign. I was like, does that mean I'm let, the right guy? Let me be athletic director. I'll take it. Yes. You. You're welcome. There it is. University of Nebraska Lincoln. My first thing, we're building a concourse. I am a Carney grad, so my first thing is Carney's getting more money. <laughs> I hey, can't do that as an athletic director, but I could do it as a president. I will say, I mean, part of yesterday, and we're, we're going to break down Troy Dan a little bit more later in the show, but he was very, I mean, upfront about like the stadium expansion. It was just like, I don't know anything about it. I have meetings on Thursday about it. Um, if it helps us win, I'm going to do it. And that was just basically it. And I, I thought that that was an okay response, right? Yep. But he also said, 
I don't know who's opposed to it. I don't know who in who is for it, who's against it. And I'm just like looking around the room and at some of the, the big people there. And I'm just like, you're going to have a conversation with him. You're going to have a separate Nixon. conversation Nixon. with him. For, you, for, against, against, for, against. And I was just like, so Dan has no clue what he's about to have conversations about. And here we go. Have fun after the q and <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> So anyway, it was just funny because I was like, man, he doesn't know what type of conversations he's about to have. So um, but nonetheless, it was it was a, it was an enjoyable time yesterday at the the introductory press conference. It's Nebraska good. always does it big pageantry is nice. There you go. But all right, Rafi, we are very late. We got to send it to break. Man, I'm getting a lot of Raf's roadie support here on the text line. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I love you all. We'll throw it to break. This is The Drive, 93.7, The Ticket. Ooh, what a day. I could sure use an afternoon pick-me-up. Hold up. The new 93.7, The Ticket location has a milk coffee and tea inside? Oh, yeah. This is a game changer. Need an afternoon pick-me-up? How about a coffee or smoothie on your way to work? Stop by the Ticket Mill location on 1040 O Street to get your go-to drink or try out our new game day drinks exclusive to the Ticket Mill location. We know it'll make your day a mill yen times better. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM first. 93.7 The Ticket. Hi, folks. Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC, and the Chevrolet and GMC Truck Month is now underway. We've got huge savings in Louisville. Get nine thousand off or one point nine percent for seventy-two months on select models. Yes, you heard right. That's nine thousand off or one point nine percent for seventy-two months. Happening right now at Couple. So take that short money saving drive down one hundred forty-fourth Street, or check us out online at CoppleCars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with roof credit. Stock number G two one four seven seven three. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. The Stars are home this weekend for a pair of pivotal Western Conference games. It all begins on Friday night as the Sioux Falls Stampede come to town for a 7.05 p.m. puck drop. Don't miss Down Syndrome Night the next day on Saturday with the action getting started at 6.05. Haven't been out to a Stars game yet this season? Don't miss out because only three weeks are left in the regular season. Tickets are available at LincolnStars.com. Breathe easier inside your home with Bryant. Eliminate allergens and odors and control humidity too. For a breath of fresh air, call 467-1111. Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Life is all about balance. So how about a little sweet and a little heat to make your week? At Wings and Rings, we're introducing our all-new hot honey menu for the month of March. Try our one-of-a-kind house-made sauce on the brand-new hot honey chicken sandwich or our hot honey shrimp and slaw. And of course, you can get it on the traditional boneless or smoked wings that have made Wings and Rings your go-to neighborhood spot. But don't wait. Hot Honey is only here until April 1st. So stop by Wings and Rings at one of our two Lincoln locations today on O Street and on Village Lane. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of your liberty in pursuit of your justice for those that have been injured. My name is Matt Knight, attorney with Liberty Law Group. If you've been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, call 877-42-LIBERTY. Our relentless trial attorneys are committed to the highest quality legal representation. At Liberty Law Group, we will fight for you. Call 877-42-LIBERTY. Once again, that's 877-42-LIBERTY. At Parkview Animal Hospital in Lincoln, it's not just a professional care that sets them apart, but their warm staff and state-of-the-art facilities. Whether it's for a routine checkup or a comprehensive medical procedure, at Parkview, your pet isn't just another number, but a valued member of their caring family. Visit them at pahlincoln.com today and in person just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. Parkview Animal Hospital, your pet, our passion. For happier, healthier furry friends. 
You don't think about your roof very often, but you should never take it for granted. Roofing Service Company takes every measure to provide you with the highest quality roofing solution. Whether it's a new roof installation, roof repair, or a re-roofing project, their overall goal is to provide you with a pleasant experience and a long-lasting roof. If you have a need for siding or gutters, they're your place to. Visit RoofingServiceCompany.com for more info today. High schoolers, unleash your creativity and learn about potential careers in broadcasting at the Digital Expressions Media Camp. Have fun, make friends, and get hands-on experience with video and radio production June 9th through the 14th at the University of Nebraska at Kearney. Scholarships are available from the Nebraska Broadcasters Association, and spots are limited. Learn more at DigitalExpressionsCamp.com. That's DigitalExpressionsCamp.com. Old School with DP and J. Do you think it's too early to talk about Patrick Mahomes as the greatest of all time? You know, to be honest with you, I think he might be on ahead of the pace. It would definitely on, on pace, maybe ahead of the pace. I think right now everything that he does is going to get over overblown. And I think people <laughs> so quickly forgot the 20-year run of the Patriots. Not five, six years. 20-year run of Tom Brady and the Patriots. Uh, 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. If you want to make new floor shopping easier, come to Oak Street Carpet. Hi, I'm Steve Carper. Our flooring professionals can help you choose the best flooring for you, your family, and your budget. We eliminate the confusion. Even better, you'll be enjoying your new flooring much sooner. No six- or eight-week waits. We'll install right away and save you money on installation. Floor shopping made easy every day at Oak Street Carpet. Oak Street. 1732 O Street, family owned and operated, always the best value. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fuhrer's Cheese Spread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fuhrer's Cheese Spread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. On the block with Strick and Austin. Now to tie it back to Nebraska men's basketball, this group has a chance to do something that hasn't been done before. Yeah. You know, in making a run in the Big Ten tournament, a serious run, in winning the first NCAA tournament game, but they're not going to get there by doing the same things they've always done. It is on this team to step up and change that narrative. It won't change on its well, own. Teams won't lay over for you, and that's the mindset well, shift we haven't consistently seen yet. Weekdays from 2 to 4. On 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. Now back to the drive with AD, Raf, and Amon Green on 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is the drive on 93.7 the ticket. It is Wednesday. And this second hour of the show is proudly sponsored by Doors Plus. If your garage door needs maintenance or you need an entirely new garage door, give Cameron Hall and his team a call today at 402-590-5800. Doors Plus is locally owned and handles everything from residential or commercial garage doors, garage door openers, safety tune-ups, or custom design. Visit DoorsPlusLLC.com to learn more. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Got it. Damn. All right, all right Rafi, we got a, a quick segment here before we uh, officially enter the uh, the, the, the hour 9 o'clock <laughs> hour. Yeah, but nonetheless, <laughs> what do we got for history today? History. Well, let's just say today in history wasn't like huge, but there were a few noteworthy things. Back in 1939, the first NCAA men's basketball championship mm-hmm. was held. Can you tell me who won the first championship? 
1939? 1939, the first NCAA men's oh, basketball championship. I, I actually do know that Ohio State was involved, but I'm pretty sure Ooh. they I'm pretty sure they lost. Oh, look at you. I couldn't tell you who beat them though. I know Ohio State was involved though. Very nice. The University of Oregon Ducks. Wow. Oregon. They beat Ohio State though, right? They beat Ohio State. Nice. And it's actually one of those um one of those games where the MVP of the tournament actually was Ohio State forward Jimmy Hole. Wow, that's 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 funny to think about. Where uh, an MVP? I mean, we we never hear we we don't hear that very often, even in like professional sports nowadays too, where um, so much is about MV, or individual awards at times, right? With yeah. MVP and stuff, you have the NBA rules where you got to play in a certain amount of games. Uh, and be available in a certain amount of games to be considered for like the the, the season long MVP. Yep. There's also been I'm trying to think off the top of my head of in like great performances by a single player, but did not result in a in a championship, right? Yeah. And yep. and like I'm trying to think of like pitching performances in a World Series where they weren't able to obviously. Can award you tell me? Award. Can you tell me? Who is the only Super Bowl MVP of the of a losing team in Super Bowl history? Who's that? I believe it was Super Bowl five, and it was the Cowboys versus the Colts. Okay. And Chuck Chuck Howley, defensive lineman for the okay. Dallas Cowboys, was defensive the defensive lineman nonetheless, too. Yep. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, it goes back to the whole like I, we can always have the award conversation of like, will a defensive player ever win the Heisman, right? Uh, again, that is. Yeah. And because it's hard to think of, like, a season, like, yeah, with, with Nebraska being where we're at, it's hard to think of of somebody having as dominant of a season as Sue did at his position, yeah. considering all those things. Yeah. And also, it wasn't like it was the strongest group of, of other finalists either. Mark Ingram was obviously, was obviously really, really good. But then yeah. you had Colt McCoy. And and Colt McCoy got obliterated by Sue multiple yep. times. And, and so it was like you felt like maybe that was the year. I, I think so many things have to be falling in the perfect place nowadays Correct. for whether it's a wide receiver or in this case, a defensive back. Like so many of the other other factors have to be absolutely perfect for players like that, a non QB specifically to win a Heisman Award. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, I I got I got a piece of history here. All right, we were, we were, we were talking heavily about uh, Nebraska, or excuse me, women's basketball yesterday. We went, we walked uh, down the the West Virginia Iowa game. We kind of recapped that over over the weekend. And so last year, Caitlin Clark puts up forty one points, twelve assists, and ten rebounds in the Elite Eight game against Louisville. Um, obviously Haley Van Lith played for Louisville at that time. This was a really good game that took Iowa to the final four, but Caitlin Clark puts up 41, 12 and 10 in this game. And I don't know if you saw this. I wanted to mention this. Do you see the, the number of viewers for the Iowa West Virginia game on Monday night? Uh, I did not see the number. Was, I was guessing there was a lot close to 5 million. That'll do it. it there were a lot of people in tune for that, uh, for, for that, that West Virginia, Iowa matchup. And so, yeah. Um, it will be, I mean, like women's basketball has grown so much now yeah. and part of it is because of Caitlin Clark, as much as that might be hard for, for Oscar fans to admit, but then I'm curious if they'll move eventually to neutral sites, if they feel like they'll be able to get large enough crowds at neutral sites in the NCAA tournament. And it's funny too, with like Caitlin Clark, you know, they have the large viewership and I know that there's a lot of fans of Caitlin Clark out there. But I think a lot of people watch also just to see what she's going to do, if she's going to have Absolutely. some sort of crazy antic on the court or do something, you know, out of, I guess, the realm of what 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 we're used to. Mm -hmm. But it's it's interesting. She kind of she kind of has a little bit of that. Yeah, people what and I'm not saying the same level, but she kind of has a little bit of that Mike Tyson, um, Tiger yeah. Woods to her to where people just want to watch just to see what she's going to do, not only if it's going to be playing on the basketball court, but you know, what happens after the whistles blow just to see if she's yelling and screaming or, you know, yelling at the referees or so it's, mm -hmm. she's definitely got, she's definitely got that tour where people want to watch. I mean, I know I was, 
I was watching on Monday. Or it was Monday. Yeah, it was Monday. Monday night. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was watching the game and I, I would never watch an Iowa basketball game, but it's like, well, got to watch and see if Caitlin Clark does anything. So, yeah. Well, and, and, and people enjoy, I mean, just the, the casual basketball fans enjoy watching somebody that can pull up from a logo and does so consistently yep. um, and just has the green light from anywhere. And so obviously now, especially that there's more eyeballs, you know, being peeled towards women's basketball and specifically Caitlin Clark and Iowa, there's going to be louder critics and, and louder criticism. I suppose I just saw videos today of, of slow motion where it's where Caitlin Clark travels with it and things like that. So that's obviously going to yeah. bring things up, but more yeah. importantly, we talk so much about, all right, women's volleyball is, is growing so much. And, and a big part of that was Nebraska and volleyball day in Nebraska. Well, similarly, yeah. so, Iowa did something where they played a women's basketball game in their football yep. stadium, and that was beneficial for the the sport as a whole as yep. well. Uh, Raph, you got any birthdays for us before we close it out? I've only got one birthday today. He turned 61 years old today. Randall Cunningham, former nice. UNLV and Philadelphia Eagles quarterback and Minnesota Vikings quarterback, but Randall was like the first prototypical run and pass quarterback in the NFL, and now you look at the NFL – um, everybody's kind of went, you know, not everyone, but most of the NFLs went to that, you know, that running quarterback, throwing quarterback. So the prototypical quarterback of the eighties that probably could have played in the 2020s. So happy mm -hmm. birthday throwing Randall Cunningham. Um, when we come back, we have some breaking news, some exciting news. As the folks know, we are the uh, the flagship for the Omaha Supernovas, and the Supernovas just announced some exciting things down awesome. the road for the uh, 2024 Pro Volleyball Federation playoffs. And so we'll tell you all about that, break that to you guys, and break it down right here. When we come back, Raf, send us away. All right, we'll throw it a break. This is The Drive, 93.7, The Ticket. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. How do people feel about getting Big Fitness Energy at Planet Fitness for $1 down and $10 a month? They feel as thrilled as a kid the first summer they're tall enough to ride the roller coaster! That's right. When you join Planet Fitness right now, you get access to tons of equipment and free fitness training in a clean and spacious club. Don't wait. Join the judgment-free zone today for that all-day energy. Download the free Planet Fitness app and join today for $1 down, $10 a month. Deal in soon. See Home Club for details. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fuhrer's Cheese Spread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter, or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fuhrer's Cheese Spread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. If you want to make new floor shopping easier, come to Oak Street Carpet. Hi, I'm Steve Carper. Our flooring professionals can help you choose the best flooring for you, your family, and your budget. We eliminate the confusion. Even better, you'll be enjoying your new flooring much sooner. No six or eight week waits. We'll install right away and save you money on installation. Floor shopping made easy every day at Oak Street Carpet. Oak Street Carpet. 
1732 O Street, family owned and operated, always the best value. Tanner's Bar and Grill is the perfect place to watch the NCAA tournament from the round of 64 all the way to the championship. Bring your friends and family in to enjoy Tanner's delicious hamburgers, chicken lips, and daily specials, and wash it down with one of their tons of options of beers. You'll never have an issue finding the game, as there are TVs everywhere throughout the space. So get in early, grab your spot, and settle in for a day of NCAA tournament basketball at Tanner's Bar and Grill, 30th in Yankee Hill. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl, Jordan, with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store, and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. Are you in the market for a new garage door or need to repair your old one? It's winter time, and that means snow, wind, and freezing temperatures, all things that can cause sticky locks and damage to your garage door. If you're experiencing any issues with your commercial or residential garage door during the winter months, call Cameron Hall and his team at Doors Plus. Don't be trapped outside in the cold because of a poorly maintained garage door. Call Doors Plus today at 402-590-5800 or visit them online at doorsplusllc.com. Doors Plus, garage doors and more. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Underground, who has been serving local contractors and utility contractors all across the state since 1997. When you see the black and white trucks, you know the baddest dudes in the business have arrived. Bauer is currently looking for equipment operators, laborers, diesel mechanics, and aerial linemen. Join the brotherhood built on hard work, authentic people, and pedigree of success. Bauer, a family-friendly company who reminds you, go be the Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Thursday, March 28th, versus the Grand Rapids Rise at CHI Health Center in Omaha. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 6 p.m. with first serve at 7. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal and Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas radio network. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0, and and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Raff. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green. Into Vikings territory. Finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green. All by himself. 20, 10, touchdown. Sponsored by Doors Plus on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Wednesday, and we have the voice of the Omaha Supernovas and the owner of 93.7 The Ticket, Mr. DP, in studio with us. Good morning, DP. How are you today? Good morning, big guy. What's happening, man? Oh, you know, just living the dream. I hear we got some breaking news going on. Yeah, once again, um, Nebraska uh, is, is is being recognized and identified as uh, the capital of, of volleyball in in the United States. And through the work uh, of, of the fans of the Supernovas, including those of the ticket who have supported, who follow the games and, and attend the games, um, have set amazing attendance records. Uh, for the league, and in a league that's having success attendance-wide across the league, uh, Omaha and Nebraska has been so exceptional that uh, the Pro Volleyball Federation has officially awarded uh, the Final Four of Pro Women's uh, Pro Women's Volleyball to Omaha. 
And of the teams, there'll be four teams uh, who make it to Omaha. And uh, the first uh, semifinal day will be May 15th. Um, you'll be able to get tickets. And, and of course, we'll have tickets and share and, and be out. I mean, it'll be a pro volleyball federation event. Um more so than 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 a supernovas event, but again, CHI Health Center will be the host to the championship. Uh, and in that, uh, with the semifinals on the fifteenth, the championship on the eighteenth, um, it'll be carried by CBS uh, Sports Network. Of course, it'll be carried by ninety three seven the ticket. So we will be there, uh, courtside, bringing the call, and it it is just a celebration once again of what the fans of Nebraska can do and the statement that's made. And now you get some understanding of what the country thinks in good form about Nebraska. That, listen, if we're going to highlight this great sport professionally, we have to come to Nebraska to do it. And (laughs) listen, Mm -hmm. for a thing that we weren't sure what it was, uh, and you took trust and faith in j- diving in the pool mm-hmm. because it felt like a really good thing. Um, fruit begins to bear for seeds planted, and Nebraska gets awarded uh, the, the Final Four in the championship. It, it's it's crazy because as the season has progressed on, we've seen the Pro Volleyball Federation make adjustments, and they've also announced new things for the years to come. We know there's going to be obviously additional teams. Mm-hmm. Kansas City is going to be a close, uh, a close team, to obviously in proximity mm-hmm. to to Nebraska. Kansas City is going to get a professional volleyball uh, a team, mm-hmm. but then also the salaries increase. Mm-hmm. And and if people don't know, this year for for the winning team, the 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 the, the championship, they get awarded a million dollars that they'll be able to distribute. So there there is dollars. there is money involved here, and it's only growing. And part of that is because of the fan support, and the, the reaction has been so positive. It's been it, it was interesting. There were some conversations, you know, throughout the season so far, and you're, we're at the halfway point, uh, twelve games in uh, with twelve to go, and of course they play you know two home games this this weekend that we will give folks tickets to. But when you're in the other cities, and 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 shout out to Rico for being kind of a conduit for uh, making mm-hmm. sure that it 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 we represent and show the way that we should. But when you're in these other buildings, Nick, it's to watch. Again, we were in, we were in Orlando and Omaha, they swept Orlando. Yeah. Well, Orlando's fans are so into this that they line up after matches. And if you're at the, imagine you're at the corner court, right? And the team standing there from the, cross the baseline, across the sideline and then all the way up to the concourse and around are fans lined up after the match just to come out, meet, get handshakes, uh, take, uh, take pictures and get autographs from, from, from this. And, and it happens for the supernovas on the road as well. So again, the standard being set in Nebraska by Nebraska, so much so that the Federation says, listen, um, if we're going to 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 highlight what we're doing, the best place, the only place to do it is Omaha, Nebraska. So kudos to all of that. Shout out to Diane Mendenhall uh, for what she's done and what they're doing. Jen Ray um, for what she does. Jeff uh, Ekstrom, uh, the media uh, force over there who who keeps us tuned in and, and, and attached. And this, listen, we had Coach Bird in studio yesterday. Yeah. And if you didn't get a chance to catch Coach Bird and Jay, and you know personally what it's like to go to yeah. lock horns with Jay, yeah, to have Coach Bird come in here and just mm-hmm. give Jay the business, it was <laughs> you got to understand. You go. Yeah, you get to understand one the level of talent, her passion for it, her high IQ. Yeah. It's really cool to watch. Well, it's a different level, a different level of conversation too. When you get you know two minds like that mm-hmm. in the in a in a similar space. Uh, by the way, uh, we will have Diane Mendenhall on the on the happy hour at one thirty today. She'll be joining us, and, and this will certainly be a, a part of of that conversation. As as once again, the breaking news, the exciting news of this morning is that Omaha is going to be hosting the 
uh, Pro Volleyball Federation Championship. May 15th are the two semifinals. May 18th is the championship match. Um, and then they're also going to be broadcasting nationally, as DP mentioned, on CBS Sports Network. Uh, so that will be at the CHI tickets, like like DP says. And like every single Supernova's match, we, we give away tickets. We are offering you the chance to go watch some high-level volleyball because that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's if you if you haven't gone, um, make plans. If you want to go, uh, again, there's a home match tomorrow yep. at, at the CHI Health Center. If you want to go, we have here's what we'll do. We'll put together blocks of four. Mm -hmm. uh, Nick, give me a number one through five. I got to go five. OK, so because Nick loves you, he's go we're going to put. <laughs> Five blocks of four mm -hmm. tickets. 20 tickets. For Thursday night's game at CHI Health Center. Nick, how should we give them away? I Ooh. say we're, we're, we're I, let's, since this is a celebration, we will just say, and here's the thing. Here's, I'm, I'm going to put a mm -hmm. caveat on it. <laughs> only accept them if you're, if you're going to go. Yeah. Only accept them. That's the only thing I'm going to ask you to do. That if you, if you, if you, if you get these tickets, that you actually go. Yeah. And experience it and so i'll ask you if you have here's here the rule you have to have daughters who play volleyball oh there you go so the first five people who hit the text line 402 464 5685 that have daughters you get four tickets mm -hmm. for, for thursday night's game uh for the supernovas there you go and and when you send in your uh your your entry if you will mm -hmm. make sure you put your full name your mm -hmm. real name not mm -hmm. just your text line name yep. your real name and then an email address mm -hmm. so i can transfer the tickets to you you'll yep. get an email from me later yep. today yep. there and you go it's it it's such a unique experience and again if you haven't seen brooke nunaviller if you haven't mm -hmm. seen betty Dela cruz who just jumps out the gym the best server in in the country right um, if you haven't seen uh, this full group of 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 just supreme athletes, and look, we've got a chance to sit courtside, and you'll get a, you'll get a chance. Yep, tomorrow, tomorrow night, I'm uh, filling in the next. Yeah. I, I I'll have two <laughs> two matches tomorrow and Saturday, and then I think I go on the road the first week of May as well when uh, Rico can't can't attend. Yeah, it it is special, um, and and again, they've been so kind to us. And so generous mm -hmm. in, in one teaching us and sharing, because when you're trying to talk about volleyball at the highest level, there, there are things to it that you can't possibly know unless yeah. you've been in it. And then things that you see uh, sitting courtside in the conversation of course, coach Renee Saunders uh, from Omaha, uh, Scott Catholic, who just fills your brain yeah. uh, on, on, on the things behind the game, the things within the game and the things outside of the game. She's so, look, you want to know why she's won nine straight was, state titles? We just talked yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I just mentioned on the air yeah. yesterday with Raph and AG that they've won nine straight. She's a, she's, she's a phenom. Yeah. And I mean, look, look, this, she was a two sport athlete, <laughs> you know, went to the university of Nebraska. Mm -hmm. um, injuries kind of, kind of derailed her, her doing anything professionally and playing the sport. So she became a coach, and then she became the coach. And I'm not listen. I'm not sure what what they would say about who who who's in her her universe when it comes to high school uh, dominance. But nine straight state titles, <laughs> you know what you're doing. Yeah. Look, the yeah. roster's full. They just uh, uh, added uh, Kyle Swanson uh, this morning. Oh, former uh, Wahoo Warrior. Uh huh. That's they, right. So they just added her this morning. Played it. Played at Illinois. Yeah. And yep. and. Listen, you get to see – it's such a good presentation. Of course, you know, Husker fans who are used to hearing mm -hmm. Dwayne at, at, at PBA. Yeah. Well, Dwayne is the, is the, is the in arena uh, public announcer, the, the, the intermissions voice, and the, yep. the, 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 the vibe of the room. It's just – look, no, no slight to anybody else. It's the best game presentation in the state. There it's you go. just that good. It's that good. So – yeah, I mean, it. I'm, 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 I'm thrilled for Pro Volleyball Federation because it means it landed uh, their YouTube, YouTube, YouTube channel. And you can go back and get uh, the 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 league stream on YouTube. 
So you can just go to Pro Volleyball Federation. And you can kind of see what what it's all about. And then, uh, of course, we we we've archived all all the games on the Ticket FM uh, as well. So you can go back and get the call and kind of get the behind the scenes on who the people are. But <laughs> this is an incredible group of of women. Uh, the organization is fantastic, um, and it's just been great. It's just been great uh, to watch. Rural radio, the boss in Omaha, to watch yeah. folks come to the table and say, hey, listen, DP, we understand what you're doing. We'd like to carry your call to work with us. And I I love the fact that we get to to be the flagship and that we get to call this and be a part of it. Um, you know, it's a little seed growing up <laughs> <laughs> that we get to do it, and I'm excited to work with you, Nick. Uh, for sure, you know, Thursday and then Saturday in Omaha. So there you go. So once again, awesome. exciting news today is, uh, the, uh, the final four, if you will, the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the playoffs for the pro volleyball federation officially announced this morning. They're going to be held in Omaha at the CHI health center. And you know, darn well us here at 93, seven, the ticket will be involved. Yes, right. sir. There it is. There's DP you can catch him. Obviously old school four to six one-on-one -on -one with DP from six to seven. Most nights, and then obviously, as we mentioned just now, on the call for the Omaha Supernovas as they get ready uh, for their matches Thursday and Saturday. All right, so back to the contest. We have three winners, WIB, 007, and Babalu. You guys are winners of four tickets each. We got room for two more. Uh -huh. Two, more. Just, two just, more winners, uh, but the only parameters, you have to have daughters that play volleyball. Yep. That's I mean, all it is. You know, just, that's just for this one. Now, I'm yep. telling you, every show today, is giving away Supernova's tickets. There you go. What if I told you we're giving away over 100 tickets today? That is right. Over 100 tickets. So if you want to go, there are going to be several ways to do it. Uh, Raf, you do not qualify. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we have you have tickets for Saturday's match. So mm -hmm. I know you get you get back when? Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Yep. Oh uh, well, then I have to. I have to take take them away. I have to give them to a listener. But that means that we got to give them away. <laughs> All right, who that wants Raf? Who to give wants them away. tickets? Yep. I know there's a Raf roadie out there that'll want my tickets. So. They they come with extra large seats. To, <laughs> to yes, yes. So they they come with extra yes. large seats. All right, Rafi. Um, that'll do it. Appreciate DP for stopping Thank by. You. As always, Rafi, send us to break, man. We got to talk Troy Dannon when we return. All right, we'll throw it a break. Just the drive, ninety three point seven. The ticket. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. A team succeeds when they work together. Banking's no different. At UBT, we're in your corner for every financial move you want to make. Your money's backed by a roster of experts who put in the work to know you and your community. So whether you're opening a savings account, buying a home, or planning your future, you always know who to turn to. Working together toward your financial goals, that's a win in our playbook. Union Bank & Trust, Equal Housing Lender Member FDIC. Life is all about balance, so how about a little sweet and a little heat to make your week? At Wings and Rings, we're introducing our all-new hot honey menu for the month of March. Try our one-of-a-kind house-made sauce on the brand-new hot honey chicken sandwich or our hot honey shrimp and slaw. And of course, you can get it on the traditional boneless or smoked wings that have made Wings and Rings your go-to neighborhood spot. But don't wait, hot honey is only here until April 1st. So stop by Wings and Rings at one of our two Lincoln locations today on O Street and on Village Lane. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl, Jordan, with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store, and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. <gasps> the Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. 
Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Spring is here. It's time to get back outside and into proper shoes this year. Brown Shoe Fit is the place to buy this spring with their sale on athletic shoes. Get $15 off any regular price athletic shoes with respected brands like Hoka, Brooks, New Balance, and On Running. And don't forget, Browns carries a large arrangement of sizes and widths to fit your feet properly. Start your spring off right at Brown Shoe Fit, just south of 66 and Q in Lincoln. Breathe easier inside your home with Bryant. Eliminate allergens and odors and control humidity too. For a breath of fresh air, call 467-1111. Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. At Parkview Animal Hospital in Lincoln, it's not just a professional care that sets them apart, but their warm staff and state-of-the-art facilities. Whether it's for a routine checkup or a comprehensive medical procedure, at Parkview, your pet isn't just another number, but a valued member of their caring family. Visit them at pahlincoln.com today and in person just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. Parkview Animal Hospital, your pet, our passion. For happier, healthier furry friends. Old School with DP and J. Do you think it's too early to talk about Patrick Mahomes as the greatest of all time? You know, to be honest with you, I think he might be on ahead of the pace. It would definitely on, on pace, maybe ahead of the pace. I think right now everything that he does is going to get over overblown. And I think people <laughs> so quickly forgot the 20-year run of the Patriots. Not five, six years. 20-year run of Tom Brady and the Patriots. On uh, 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com on the block with Strick and Austin. Now to tie it back to Nebraska men's basketball, this group has a chance to do something that hasn't been done before. Yeah. You know, in making a run in the Big Ten tournament, a serious run, in winning the first NCAA tournament game, but they're not going to get there by doing the same things they've always done. It is on this team to step up and change that narrative. It won't change on its well, own. Teams won't play over for you, and that's the mindset well, shift we haven't consistently seen yet. Weekdays from 2 to 4 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Wednesday. We just had DP on breaking the news. The Omaha Supernovas in Omaha will be the host of the International Volleyball. Uh, I forgot. Ivy, Ivy, Bia, I, inter, International. Oh, I had it. I got to be better at this. I'm pulling it up right now. Find it, find it, find it. Nothing? Oh, no. Pro Volleyball Federation Championship. There we go. Sorry. I, oh, oh, I, was, yeah, thinking, yeah. I was thinking international pro, but so we, yeah, got, no, we got that going. Pro, and then pro also, Volleyball Federation. You better believe it. So that'll be huge. And, you know, I was thinking about this. I was going to ask DP about this also. You've got to think of they have a great showing, which you know it's going to be because it's volleyball. It's Nebraska. You've got to think the league might consider saying, hey, maybe we just need to make Omaha since it is kind of the center of the, you know, pro volleyball universe to maybe say, hey, we'll just host, have Omaha hosted every year. So yeah. it'll be a fun first year to see how it all plays out. But that's that's super cool. And, man, you get to see a lot of great volleyball. So it'll be fun times on May 15th and May 18th. So and then I also want before I get talking about athletic director Troy Dan and I wanted to congratulate Coach Chuck Shamelka and the Nebraska men's gymnastics team, they clinched the um, Big Ten regular season gymnastics title last night. So yes, congratulations right. to Nebraska gymnastics. I was thinking, I was looking at their schedule 
Uh, maybe I'll try to get Coach Chamelk on the air next week sometime and see if I want to come in and talk some Nebraska men's gymnastics. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Raf, was there anything specific? And, and if we didn't. We don't have that much time left in this segment. Yep. Um, it, was there anything specific from yesterday that stuck out to you with with Troy Dannon? Hmm. I would say the one thing. What I said yesterday, it's like about just we're going to win and we're going to, if you sell tickets, you're going to be the best ticket seller and people are going to want to look to you. So, yeah. and I mentioned yesterday about, you know, how Nebraska, I thought maybe it took a little bit of a step back to maybe Nebraska wasn't that school more of, did it use, like, we always talk about the good old days, but it, it's felt like over the last, I don't know, five, 10 years that Nebraska is not that school from a football standpoint to where it's more of like a, if there's something else comes about, you know, I'm going to that, I'm going to that next place. You know, mm -hmm. we had an athletic director that kind of said, Hey, I got to go to that stepping stone. Uh, yeah. And I don't, I don't, I don't want Nebraska to be that stepping stone. And I, I, and I believe that, you know, um, Troy Dannon believes that he can get Nebraska back up to where you want to be at Nebraska. It's not one of those, well, I'll go to Nebraska, and then if someplace else yeah. comes a calling, I'm gone. So I, it's going to be fun to see, you know, how that how that plays out. It, it was interesting because he he went on a, a speech or uh, not a speech. He answered, and I don't know if this is the uh, the correct audio bite if it of it or not, but he said something along the lines of, "I didn't leave Washington because of Washington. I love I left Washington because of Nebraska." Um. And he goes, when I took the job at Washington, he said something along the lines of like, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to go anywhere else. Um, and I, I, I wonder if that's true also, right? We, we kind of always chalk those types of comments up to like, okay, that's AD speak. I'm going to retire here. <laughs> I don't know if anybody actually takes a job going, you know what? This is going to be a not stepping stone. Cause I think that is a thing, but in that, five months I'm going to be able to take another job. I, I don't, I don't know. Here's yeah. what, here's what Troy Dannon said um, on why his tenure is going to be different that here at Nebraska than his short lived tenure at Washington. Here's what Troy Dannon had to say. I'll say this. I've had four jobs. Um, I spent 18, 17 years at the high school association in, in Des Moines and Iowa spent eight at Northern Iowa. I spent eight at Tulane, almost eight at Tulane. Um, uh, you know, the, the stint at, at Washington was as much about Nebraska as it was about Washington. It, it was, it was, I, I could have stayed at Washington forever if Nebraska had not called. And so, uh, you know, the why, how, how, and people can worry about that. You know, I, number one, and this is a transfer portal related uh, response. Uh, a lot of my job the last couple of years has been reminding everybody that it is about this. It is not about this. Players come and go. Coaches come and go. Athletic directors come and go. But it is about this, the name on the front, and reminding them of that. Number two, and one of the things, and we haven't talked about this, but but I suggested to Chris, I asked that the my buyout be different. I wanted my buyout to be every dollar that was left on the contract. That doesn't happen. But, you know, for the people who want to question commitment, I wanted to make sure I showed my own financial commitment to the fact that I wanted to be here. You know, I'm 57. Uh, I didn't think I had another move uh, when I went to Washington. I, I didn't go to Washington to move. Uh, but, but coming here, you know, it's it's more than locale. And the people and the place is a, is a lot of this. Uh, but when you put people, place, and the ability to do everything that you aspire to do professionally, uh, there, there just aren't other places. So there you go. There's Troy Dannon on uh, just his on why Nebraska is going to be different than his uh, five or six month tenure at Washington. And you heard it there. Just basically, it's it's more about it's just as much about, hey, Nebraska called as much as Washington. Right. You can chalk that up to AD speak. You can talk that chalk that up to coach speak, whatever you want. Um, but if you're also reading into that, that's good. I mean, that's a good answer. Um, I thought it was very the thing that stuck out the most to me. And and we might have to get in this deeper, especially when AD and AG are here. Um, yep. 
I, I don't know if you saw Raf in the in the question and answer portion. So the way that it was set up yesterday for the folks that don't know, the it was on the on the second floor of West State or excuse me, third floor of West Stadium uh, was where there were invited guests. That's where Matt Rule was. That's where all the assistant coaches, all the head coaches kind of attended um, donors, board of regents, things like that, where you had the the actual speech, right? The introductory press conference, if you will, for, yep. for Troy Dannon. Then we all kind of, the media were able to go to that for that, which was for like invited people. And then you were able to kind of walk over to the Hawks Championship Center where they have the new media room. And so, or press conference room. And so, uh, that's where we ended up going over. And that's when we were able to ask Troy Dannon and, and some other people, some questions, um, in the Q and a portion, there were former players there. And I thought it was really interesting because it was, how are you going to respond to former players that want to be involved in the program? And, and how do you feel about just this rich history of former players in, you know, being involved in Nebraska and Troy Dannon said something that really stuck out to me. And it was, they own the program. Everybody that's here now is renting it. He said, until you walk out that door with a degree in your hand, you cannot claim ownership of the program. And I thought that was really, really fascinating because we always, it's, it's clear that Troy Dannon acknowledges that, hey, we were successful a long time ago and for a reason. And we need to figure out a way to get back to that. Because if you noticed a common theme yesterday, it was winning. Yep. Troy Dannon wants to win. And he expects to win. Um, and, and every AD is going to say that. I understand that. I'm not trying to be naive here. But every single answer, when it, whether it was stadium renovations, whether it was uh, 1890 discussions, whether it was NIL stuff, whether it was roster and retention and control, it was, if it helps us win, we are going to do it. There was a common theme, exactly. and it's winning with Troy Dannon. Yep. Yeah, no, I, I'm, it, it'll be fun to watch. And I, it's also going to be fun to, you know, I, I understand, you know, with former players and, and you know, wanting to be, you know, but also you, you've you got to look at when you're a former player, you've also, instead of always asking, what can the program do for me, what can you do for your program? So I, I mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's two ways, it's two ways there. So I, I, it'll, it, it's, it's, I'm just, I'm excited. I think Nebraska is finally in a spot to where to be competitive and, you know, almost every sport they compete in. And it's, it's definitely something we have not, we have not experienced. It's, it's been a while. So I, I think that, you know, Troy Dannon is going to, going to add to this. I, I, like, I wanted to hear him just say, you know, I'm here to win. I'm here to be the best. And that's, once he said that, I'm like, okay, we're good. Let's go. You know, time so, to show it. Yep. So now it's, to put the head down and start grinding. All right, Rafi, let's take our final timeout, man. Um, we got Raf's good take on the other side. All right, we'll throw the break. This is the drive, 93.7 the ticket. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Ironhide Construction is hiring. They're looking for hardworking, self-motivated individuals who are team players. Ironhide Construction has openings for an experienced project manager, estimator, apprentice, skilled laborer, and erector or installer. They will train the right people and make sure you understand the position and requirements. At Ironhide Construction, it's own it, be honest, and do it right. Apply today and learn more about their other benefits at ironhideconstruction.com, where they're committed to you every step of the way. You're counting on your team to win, so why not prove it? At Warhorse Sportsbook, their win is your win. Put your money where your mouth is on nearly every sporting event. Use the Warhorse app to check odds and build your bets before placing your wagers in person at Warhorse Casino in Lincoln or Horseman's Park in Omaha, including live in-game betting. No bets, no glory. Wagers may only be placed on Nebraska-based teams when played outside the state of Nebraska. Must be 21 or older to gamble. Gambling problem? Call 1-833-BET-OVER. 
Tanner's Bar and Grill is the perfect place to watch the NCAA tournament from the round of 64 all the way to the championship. Bring your friends and family in to enjoy Tanner's delicious hamburgers, chicken lips, and daily specials, and wash it down with one of their tons of options of beers. You'll never have an issue finding the game, as there are TVs everywhere throughout the space. So get in early, grab your spot, and settle in for a day of NCAA tournament basketball at Tanner's Bar and Grill, 30th in Yankee Hill. Hi everyone, Kendall Warnock, A1 Automotive in downtown Lincoln. The last few years have been wild, but we've been here for you through all the ups and downs, and we'll be here for you when you need us the most, for all your travels and for your day-to-day driving. With winter conditions causing problems all over town, the last thing anyone needs this year is constant car troubles. Let us help you drive in peace and make sure you drive to work and to winter destinations safe. A1 Automotive, Leavitt and L Street downtown, always honest answers. <gasps> the Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. The Stars are home this weekend for a pair of pivotal Western Conference games. It all begins on Friday night as the Sioux Falls Stampede come to town for a 7.05 p.m. puck drop. Don't miss Down Syndrome Night the next day on Saturday with the action getting started at 6.05. Haven't been out to a Stars game yet this season? Don't miss out because only three weeks are left in the regular season. Tickets are available at LincolnStars.com. 93.7 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. The length of forecast for today, there's a chance we could see a few flurries. Otherwise, we'll see probably sunny skies and a high around 46. Tonight, mainly clear skies with a low around 28. And tomorrow, we'll see more sunshine to go along with warmer temperatures. And after high expected around 64. I'm meteorologist Kyle Buckner for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, Garage Doors, and more. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet, KNTK FM first, 93.7 The Ticket. Now back to the drive with AD, Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. This segment is proudly sponsored by Florio's Italian Restaurant and Grill, just south of Lincoln Southwest High School on 14th and Pine Lake Road. Florio's Italian Restaurant provides a cozy, family-friendly setting where good food and good company come together. All you have to do is visit florialsne.com or call 402-423-5576 to make reservations or place takeout orders. Got it. Man. All right, Rafi, it's about that time. Uh, AD and AG will both be back tomorrow, at least AD, as long as there's no hiccups in travel, I should say. Yep. Yep. Do you know off the top of your head, did he get a flight on Wednesday night? I have not. I have not spoken to him. Okay. I, I Last I saw, he was at the fish market, and That's he right. elected not to catch any fishes. He just decided Man. to watch. It was it, that is so cool. I, I I texted AD yesterday when I saw that he was at, at Pike's Place Fish Market out there in Seattle. Um, because I follow them on social media and I watch them catching the fish, filleting the fish. I've, I've learned a couple of things from them as well on how to kind of, kind of fillet fish. And it's so cool. I I was jealous of AD yesterday being able to go out there. Um, but yeah, no, he did not catch a fish. He did not try to, I'm kind of upset because, you know, this guy talks about having, you know, the greatest <laughs> set of hands in the history of Husker football. Oh, is that right? And he did not step up to catch a fish. So now I'm, I'm starting to wonder if maybe he's not the greatest set of hands in the history of Husker football. Yeah. All right. Right Raffy. now he'd be like, 
he'd be like, shut up, Raph. Shut up. Yeah. I never said that. I, IQ, IQ crew says, I'm interested to see if AD donated to the gum wall. I, oh, I, yeah. I, I don't think those are very nice. I, I don't like gum walls. I'm gum walls. I'm out on those types of things. I'm going to be honest with you, Raph. But uh, what you got today for Raph's Good Take? All right. Today's Raph's Good Take goes out to new athletic director Troy Dannon and his wife Amy. Just wanted to welcome you all to Nebraska. Uh, there truly is no place like it, and we're excited to see all the great things that you accomplish as the athletic director here. And if you're ever around town and want to come by 93.7, the ticket and have a meal coffee, maybe come in and say hi to the drive. You're always welcome on our show. So have a great day and you are Raph's good take. There it is. Simple as that. You're uh, Rafi. I got to put, make sure we get the right music here. All right, cool. Well, we got about a minute left or so. Uh, Anything exciting on the, on the docket today? No, nope, not really much going on today. Might take the dog out for a walk, you know. Just we've been getting walks in every day. Well, that's so, good. I'm glad. I'm happy for you. So I'm happy for you. Go Rav. for a walk. Um, maybe do a little bit of work. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Once again, congrats to WIB007 and Baba Lou for winning the Supernovas tickets. You guys will get an email from yours truly, me, here coming up in just a little bit uh, with those four tickets each. AG and AD back tomorrow along back with me and Rafi as, as usual. But actually, I will not be here. I got Oscar football practice. But nonetheless, Rafi, take us away. We got 15 seconds. All right, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. And remember, be nice to each other. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in March. Try their pesto cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. For lunch, try the salmon panini with provolone, sesame oil, and tomato.